Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 16 of our Civ 6 Congo Let's Play. We're on turn 255. The year is 1720, and Congo is still at peace with everyone? Yep, looks like it. We're at the end of a turn, of course, so don't have to worry about, uh, worry about that. Unit needs orders. I guess we weren't quite at the end of the turn. It never really is. Um, and it, I guess uh, we've been beaten to the... Well, let's go to that one instead, then. Wow, a bunch of them up here. This guy's going to fill up his museum pretty quickly. That's good news. Because we get... Uh, oh, that's right. We get all sorts of goodies from our architectural uh, architectural finds. Um, yeah, sure. Combustions. That's a, an easy one. Uh, choose artifacts. So... Now, here's a little bug I have noticed, is that it says it's from the medieval era, but it's going to be from the ancient era, most likely. Um, so I'm going to take it from the barbarians, and of course it's from the ancient era, like I just said. So it makes it very difficult to fulfill the quests for these. Um, but, yeah, look at this. Two food, production, gold, culture, all that, just from, just from that one uh, ancient artifact. So... Uh, archaeologists are amazing in, uh, for Congo. This is when my strength is really going to start to come to come to play, I hope. So I really shouldn't be bothering with art museums in any of my cities. It's kind of kind of a, a harmful to them, really, to do that. Uh, so all trade routes are uh, going back to Congo. I believe we established that in a previous episode. You must be counter-spying, which requires two click and a third click. And uh, let's go get that one, which is the one that I originally wanted in the first place, originally, before others. Uh, you were going to make a die, weren't you? So it would help if I actually clicked on the button that would do that. And it looks like Mabuila needs... Uh, so they have plenty of housing and a good amount of amenities, so I don't need to worry about those things. I guess... Oh, archaeologist, of course. Just talking about how great they are. You are... You could use some more of either of those things, but you could also use your own archaeologist. Great. And over here, we're going to choose an artifact. Ancient Era. Well, that's probably going to be from the Ancient Era. At least that one it got right. I don't need to view my great works. I'm pretty familiar with what's going on there. A bunch of awesomeness, really. Okay, so... He is not offering me a whole heck of a lot. How about you make me a decent offer? How much gold per turn can you offer me? Just the four? And if you offer me all of your gold... See, that's too much for you, huh? Well, forget it then. Uh, refuse deal. Yep. Yeah, it's a shame. Shame that you're lowballing me like that. Uh, see, you are making a good offer. I will accept that offer. Yes, thank you very much. No, thank you. That was a fair offer. More than fair, really. I would have taken an equal trade. Oh, I lost my suzerain um, state for Toronto. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what that did for me. Doesn't matter. Uh, Eureka for rocketry and 20% production towards space race projects. <laughs> I mean, it seems a little early for me to get this uh, great engineer, uh, but I will take it because I may need it at the end. Uh, the other guy is ahead of me in science. A couple of uh, art pieces. I will definitely take those and put them in my palace, if nothing else. Um, this quadrireme is going to protect my harbor. Um, you were produced specifically to take advantage of those dyes, and you belong to... Oh, for crying out loud, wrong key combination to move the screen. Um, I guess uh, we'll just go for that one and make it a clean sweep up here. I hope that guy can't do any damage to me. That'd be a real shame. Um, so do I want to build a lighthouse? That's not really a bad idea. Over here, I have a trader, and uh, this trader is going to want to try to make me some money and other stuff. So we got 10, 1, and 1. That is the opening bid here, 10, 1, and 1. Um, 11 and 2, I like that better. 
no, you don't have much to offer me. And 16 gold is pretty tempting. I've only got 13, and I usually like double the value on these. So that's only 15. So 16 gold, right? It's gonna be 14. Yeah, Washington, I think, is even better if you consider the relative value of, like I like I said, that's six. So 14, 15, 17, and that's without weighting these higher, which they should be weighted higher than gold. Uh, looks like that's gonna be the best deal. So let's do that, Washington. Washington it is. And that's going to be an industrial zone, so that means this is going to be a mine. I'm glad I put that tag there to remind me, because I probably would have turned that into a farm or something. And you are the guy that gets to do the space race stuff, so it's going to take a very long time for you to become useful. I need to stick you in some backwater and forget about you, so down here is backwater enough for me. Unit needs orders. Oh, it's another special person. So... Uh, did I move the wrong? I did move the wrong great person out. He should have stayed where he was. You, on the other hand, Robert Goddard, can go to there. Next turn. Please wait. Wait, you need orders. Well, what do you want me to do? Wait or give this guy orders? So he needs orders. He can't go where he was going to go. There we go. Mm, Japan used the samurai. Oh, thank you, Gazali, for telling me about that exciting bit of news it's the industrial revolution the all right don't care about that one and don't really care about that one so we're gonna just leave it as it is so another so we we're gonna do a food triangle here I guess so we could then I, I need to do it I need to turn that one in so I can make a food triangle there. I'd have to buy those tiles to get down there. I don't really want to do that yet. Mm. Do I want to tear up that swamp? You know, what do I need in this town? I probably need production. I would say it's probably the, the most important thing. I have a little bit of production there. And those are hills, which I could uh, cut down the forest and put an industrial area there, or not an industrial area, but a mine there. Um, do I need a granary? Not really. I feel like I've got plenty of food production. Monument. Well, but if I'm going to cut that forest down, I want something that's going to take a little longer to build than a monument. I was going to put a, sure, quite sure I was going to put a commercial hub there. I should get that started, whether I keep it there or not. I mean, uh, not whether I keep it there or not, whether I keep producing it immediately or not. I want to lock that uh, square up for the industrial zone. I already need an Mbanza, so why don't I do that? What kind of uh, land do we have? We have plains, and this is a grassland, and then you are a hill, right? So I'm going to want to make you into a mine. And uh, um, I would say I'd rather do it over the plains than the well, the grassland, we're going to have plenty of food coming from down here. So, okay, let's do it here. Yes. And then uh, the worker will actually tear that one down. You, you're going to build a mine. So this worker down here doesn't really seem to have much to do to help out Kinkasa. I could buy, buy this tile or that tile. But um, I feel like the city's doing all right. So why don't you come down and help out one of these less performing cities? And you are... Do I want you to run away? Why don't I have you fight that ship? You can defeat it pretty easily. Yeah, that would have been silly to have you run away. Get, get you that experience. It's useful. So I'm going to put an industrial zone there. So I don't really want to do anything around here quite yet. I think you're gonna have plenty of food. And I guess I was gonna plant a forest on you eventually. Still not sure when you're able to plant a forest. That's gonna be a national park. I wanna, to... oh, that's right. I was gonna do a farm triangle here, but it doesn't really give me the super bonus that I was hoping for. Still, 
I may as well cut that tree down, if nothing else, and apply that to the great wonder that I'm building. Another artifact, which would be a nice little boost. Uh-huh, Greek, but it's, uh, oh, it's actually from the classical era. Amazing. Sometimes it works out that way. So look at that, nice boost to Mabanza Congo. I guess I have a uh, government, uh, why? Oh, that's right, because then I don't want to change anything, I think. Oh, you know what? I, I was going to change away from workers. That's right. So let's change policies. Don't need that builder one anymore. I want to keep that one going. I like the gold from all trade routes. I've got, so that'd be 36 gold to get rid of that. What do I want to put in here? Not worried about those wonder bonuses. Not worried about that. Plus one amenity to all cities with two districts is pretty strong. Plus one, 100% gold from commercial hub buildings. I like that one. Oh, 100% science. I think I'm gonna take that science. I could use the amenities ahead of the housing. Get quite a bit of science from the international trade routes too, but I don't think it would match up with that 100% bonus. So where are we at? We're at uh, 117 right now. Let's confirm policies. Yes. Would I rather switch my great engineer points? Now you know what? I like great engineers. Let's keep it going. 117 and now we're at 142. So we gained 25 uh, science from that. That's pretty good. We need to boost our science. We've doubled from the 70.8 or whatever we were at not too long ago, a few episodes ago, but still. Um, we still got a lot of work to do to catch up to. Uh, we've got two people in the modern era, Samaria and Greece. And uh, we need to get ahead of them before they win the game. All right, you're going to go back here and you're going to build some art in the capital. So create a great work. Great. And uh, that does not provide food or anything like that. It does provide beautiful artwork. And now you're going to... Oh, you can't... Wait, what's going on? You can't do anything. Cancel. Next turn. A little minor bug there, I think. Uh, wasn't too hard to get out of, though. So you are really lowballing me on this. Why don't you just offer me one of your trade goods? Wow. That is asking an awful lot. How about if I, oh, I already have spices. So why are you even offering me that? You don't want any more of my spices. Still don't think I want to pay that much. Never mind then. No thanks. Yeah, unfortunate for you. Please wait. Um, I'm, I was born waiting. I don't know what that means exactly. Uh, so we've unlocked the frigate. You think there'd be a joke there? I believe I wanted to turn that into a farm to help get my growth up. Choose production. I choose shipyard. I think that'll get me a boost. A couple of shipyards will get me a boost eventually. Uh, we are at 11 to 13 with no amenities. So let's build an entertainment complex. I think I'm gonna build a farm there. Uh, I guess I wanna keep that open so I can take advantage of the culture. So let's stick it here. Yep. And uh, you are the space race guy, so you're just going to um, sleep. Wait a minute. Must be completed on an industrial zone. Huh. Interesting. So I guess I don't need to keep you around. I could just 
put you here because I'll probably build most of my space race stuff. Actually, I should put you up in uh, up in this one. Um, no, I think Congo is still the best best way to go. Your capital city is always going to be your mass producer. That's just how it works out. Next turn. Doesn't always work out that way, but it is in this one. Congo's Congo's doing real well. Oh, a religious unit. Woohoo! I was hoping, just hoping that we'd get to the religious units. Thank goodness. Good to see that awesome religious map mode where everything turns peach. Not peachy, just peach. Um, so you want to turn into a lumber mill, but what I want to do is cut you down. Oh my gosh, I completed that uh, housing project. It's kind of a surprise. All right, another great work. Choose production. Well, for you, I will choose. I don't really need you to worry about building traders and spies. That seems unnecessary. I guess a caravel wouldn't be bad. But you know what? A shipyard wouldn't be bad either. So let's let's get the shipyard before we actually start building the ships. Keep our priorities straight. Uh, you're in good shape. You, my friend, have just been sitting over here, and you could be up here or over here helping protect my naval assets. Um, yeah, you're a caravel, so I don't know why it's trying to tell you to go across the land, but uh, you're going to go where the caravel goes. And here's another religious unit that uh, actually it's probably the same. Um, Probably the same one that I just told to go straight into the ocean. Why don't I cancel your orders? There we go. And how about you try to spread religion? That's much better. Uh, you're going to activate your effect there. Boost my rocketry all the way back here when I'm still fighting with uh, muskets. Um, I don't even know if I've got anybody. Yeah, I've got a few musketeers set up. Uh, you were going to build the farm here to get some adjacency bonuses. And we're going to go to the next turn. And uh, you would like open borders with me. Oh, I'm sure you would. That would uh, help prevent war. Too bad we can't tie in some trade with those open borders. How about I get rid of that? And what would you want from me? Yeah, I don't know that I need that amenity that badly. I'd like it to be more equitable. Will you give me two gold per turn? Nope. Just the one, I bet. Are you even going to offer me that? Yeah, you won't even offer me that now. I'll do open borders with you, sure. I think, hopefully that will help you from declaring war. It's probably just so you can send spies down to, to, uh, see, yeah, I just killed one of your spies, Sumeria. Mabwilla, huh? I want to put a spy in Mabwilla, I guess. Um... You were going to build a mine, is what you were going to do. You just built a farmland, so I guess I'll have you build a lumber mill up there. You're going to clear this out. You want to convert this city. Still want it to build a monument. Next turn. Out of amenities here. Still need additional spies. Oh, I didn't get a chance to read that, but it looked like an enemy sabotaged production. I hope it wasn't on my... Uh... Okay, it doesn't seem to have hurt Oxford University. Or the Hermitage, but maybe it did. Maybe I just wouldn't know. Doesn't seem to show any others where it looks like it sabotaged production. Hmm. I guess it wouldn't necessarily destroy all the production. It could have just taken some away, and it could have done that in several places. So you have three builds left. I would like to get that wine, so I think I'm going to buy that tile, actually. Let's do it. And uh, I can go back to there, and then we will send you over there to grab the wine. You are going to do a lumber mill. You are going to be a farm. You are going to rest until healed. Next turn. 
And it looks like it's a legitimate next turn. No orders needed. 1765, the year of our Lord, as they say. And, all right, so I guess I'm going to want to, well, I should hold on to this for a housing unit, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm a uh, Mabuji Mai. Could use another housing unit. I have some salt. No, that's niter. I never taken advantage of that niter over there. Let's get that. One, two, three. I can't access. Wait, one, two, three. I can access the first from down there. So let's go ahead and buy up that tile too. Am I going to be able to? No, I'd have to buy the one in the middle. But I do have plenty of money. So let's go ahead. That's kind of an investment, but. Um, getting additional luxury goods would be helpful. I think that helps my overall empire. Not completely sure about that. Uh, you were going to cut this forest down. Hopefully that helps uh, Mabanza Mabata. Did. Good. And then we're going to build a farm there on the next opportunity. And then if I still have a move left, I'll build a farm on that one. And unfortunately, we won't get uh, like five food produced in each of those. Maybe later on, those adjacency bonuses will come into play. So is that going to be a farm? I should probably build that lumber mill. This city definitely needs production. Uh, this is the same old spy that it has been. That you're going to keep spying in the capital next turn. So we'll get this uh, archaeologist online, and I think I'll have Mabuila build a spy and uh, have that spy stick around at home. Since that was the since they were the subject of a uh, of a uh, espionage, you are going to develop that. Advance my knowledge of rifling. One of the most unimproved. Uh, unimproved technologies between Civ 5 and Civ 6 and rifling in Civ 5 I believe gives you the uh, uh, musket or the rifleman and in this it gives you an advanced scout which is completely pointless at this point time of the game uh, I'm sure you could find a way to make it useful through setting up your game to where you had like uh, had like uh, you know to explore the new world or something like that oh um we're going to start sending these guys back home because we have developed these cities well enough. They need to start surviving on their own, I say. Uh, you are going to... already You've already done it, so you're not going to do the foxy thing on this. Why don't you build a mine down here, I guess? I can't put a farm there. can't put a farm here either. I only have one build left, so I may as well build my mine there. I'll do that. And you, the archaeologist, uh, probably should go, if there's any more to grab over in this area, start out with that one up north. And you'll do some exploring. I guess now would be the, you know, that would be the use for, uh, for scouts would be to check that, uh, to explore for new archaeology things. You know what I'm trying to say? Using my words? Maybe you do. Sometimes I watch my videos and I do these weird half sentences and I'm like, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> I know when I say it, like, I know what I'm talking about, but I, uh, I leave a lot of the like, I finish my sentences in the middle of the sentence and uh, kind of, like, make a mm-hmm kind of a noise like you guys get it. Uh, but no, I'm watching and I don't get it, so there's no way the random viewer gets it. Try to be more concise with your sentences. Try to actually make sense, form complete sentences. That's the way the English language works, if you want to do it correctly. All right, so we are running low on housing, but we're also running low on amenities, so I am not going to worry about either of those. How about I get this? Wow, you do not produce very much. So you know what? Why don't you worry about yourself instead of worrying about 
other towns. Is there anything to get your production up? Like putting an industrial zone, but would I get plus two if I put it in here? I should have someone come down and uh, drain the swamp first. I could do that by building a builder, but that's going to take like 24 turns. Do I have a builder from somewhere else that I could send down there to do that? Doesn't look like I do. Um, those are just going to produce gold. At least you'll produce food and gold. I guess we'll do you. And then I need to get a uh, need to get a worker down there to clear that up. Let's try to grab these up before the other, like Samaria. You'd think Samaria would be coming in and uh, taking over all the archaeology stuff. They're so advanced in technology. They're rubbing it in my face, stupid jerks. Enjoy your open borders while you can. Um, I'm tempted to build that, but I'm not going to. What I should build. Oh, I've started a builder, but forget that. I think I'm going to build that trader to do that. Up to 11 now. Wow, I can have so many traders. It's all these uh, all these uh, harbors that I've built. Um, do I want to build a lighthouse? I really want to finish that commercial hub. 21 turns. It's really going to take a long time. I guess I'm going to put another industrial thing there. So it'll help out a little bit. And you are just going to guard, guard my dock, seaport. Oh, looks like there's some rebels up here. I can't attack them. They can attack me though. That's all right. I don't mind them attacking me. Oh, we get to go through this little mini game again and try to find the most valuable offer. So we've got 11 and two there. I'm pretty sure that that's going to be beat. Uh, 10, 1, and 1 doesn't qu doesn't qu quite beat it. 10 and 2 looks good. Oh, how come I get to keep trading with Washington over and over? Am I trading from... Oh, that's why, because I'm starting... I'm not starting in... Hmm. Where are you at? Oh, you are in Congo. Weird. So Washington must have just uh, finished up its, finished up its uh, route. Let's just take that one then. I know I was trading with Washington previously. Oh, I bet you the barbarians killed my Washington trader. That's probably what happened. Trade route plundered. Yep. Well, that's going to burn through a bunch of my trade routes, too, if I keep doing that stupid move. Um, I hear the, oh, that means there's a great person, huh? It's not a very impressive noise for a great person. Great Admiral. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oof, oh, I fell asleep there for so excited about this great Admiral. But it's not like the next great Admiral is going to be any better, so I may as well, may as well take that one. Um, mine, that's what you're going to do. And where are we at? Another trader? You know, I'm going to have you... Wow, I already had you bringing uh, additional construction into the city. And that was how well you're producing things. You could you could definitely use a little more help. Um, so here's my other great admiral. Why don't you come over and join this quad room? Next turn. And that is a terrible offer. Yeah. It's insulting. It's a shame you made that offer to me. Um, no. Are you kidding me? You were making me pretty good offers before, but that is far from what I would call anything close to a good offer. Oh, good Oxford University. Nice. All right. Steel. I like that. And economics. That's fine. Hopefully I wasn't researching either of those already. Um, 
I was worried it was going to like give me, I knew there were some of these from way back when that I didn't do. I was worried it was going to give me like castles and printing. That would have been very frustrating. Might as well have that one then. That doesn't really sound all that exciting. Um, this doesn't do me any good either, so I don't need to worry about that yet. Military service is when it starts becoming a little more useful, but do I want to go for something like infantry would be really nice to have this early on. I could get combustion already. That's insane. It would give me the tank. I would rather go for like some of these interesting potential wonders plus one food adjacency bonus for every farm well let's go for the food adjacency bonus for sure um, the power plant is pretty great too so I want to go for that and then uh, I think I'm going to go for the research lab and then I'll finish that little chain off and then we're going to go for rocketry and get started on the final end game here. Don't know that I necessarily need to focus on finding aluminum or anything. Um, what happens if I just jump ahead to satellites? Is that like a direct path? Yeah, I skip an awful lot by doing that. Well, that's not good. So we have one, two, three. Wow, I gotta go all the way back here, huh? All right. And there's nothing further back here, right? Okay, so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. No. One, two, three, four. And uh, then rocketry, and then we'll leave it at that. Great, well, Oxford University. So that's nice. Research is up to 150. Choose production. Well, why don't you, uh, you are doing all right on amenities and so forth for now. Why don't you produce a bank, I guess. And over here, this unit just built the lumber mill. And there's not really, and WASD does not work in this game. Uh, and that key does not move the map. There we go. I love how I still am struggling with the controls and this episode is already over. Um, practically over, I guess, is the more correct way of saying that. Uh, so we're going to drain the swamp and get the additional food over there. And now it says next turn. So now this episode is over. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching this episode uh, or any of my episodes, really. No, you know what? Only if you enjoyed this episode. If you thought this episode was dumb and somehow you're still watching, I do appreciate that. That's pretty great. Very flattering. Um, uh, but anyways, if you like this episode, click the like button. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, don't. I'll keep yelling. And uh, leave some comments down below. And uh, we can have a civil discussion down there. All right. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.